Okay, John, uh, you may begin. My name is John Fine. My research is based on a problem that I had. That problem was an Olympic runner who came in and he was injured, so he was unable to run. Because of his injury, he could not run at full body weight, so he came to us and asked if we could run on our Alter G treadmill. For those of you who don't know, an Alter G treadmill, pictured there, is a lower body, positive pressure treadmill that allows you to run as little as 20% of your full body weight. You run with your legs inside of a bubble with such high air pressure inside that it lifts you up. It actually kind of goes like running on the moon. It's very cool. <laughs> what this does is it allows you to continue to run if you cannot run outside because of your, uh, your injury. Now, this runner was a smart guy though, and he knew that running at less than full body weight would be significantly easier. So easy, in fact, that he was doubtful whether or not he'd be able to get a good enough workout in to stay in shape to compete in his race. So he came to me and he asked, John, how much faster do I have to run to get an equivalent workout? Now, for everyone in the room with a research background, this question should have you licking your lips. Such a seemingly easy question to answer that no one had bothered to answer yet. So I went about finding that answer. I recruited 20 runners, and after putting them through 100 tests and way too much statistical analysis, I had my answer. That answer is presented in a simple, easy to use reference conversion table where you pick the speed that you want to run at outside, the body weight percentage you're currently running at on the Alter G treadmill, go like this, and like magic, you have the speed you're required to run at to get an equivalent workout. We gave this information to the runner and he was able to successfully continue to train and let his injuries heal. And for those of you who are curious, he actually ended up winning the race that he was set to compete in. And no, before you ask, the runner was not Usain Bolt, although that would have been really cool. <laughs> Anyways, it's always been known that you have to run much faster at a percentage of your body weight in order to get an equivalent workout. But until now, we didn't know just how much faster. My answer to that is a lot faster. And let me put it in terms everyone can kind of understand. For someone who normally runs a 10 minute mile outside, they can, at 50% of their body weight on an Alter G treadmill, run a six minute mile. And for someone who normally runs a six minute mile outside, they can, at 50% of their body weight, run a four minute mile on an Alter G treadmill. If there's one thing to take away from this, it is that you can, and you actually have to, run much faster at a percentage of your body weight on an Alter G treadmill to get an equivalent workout. Finally, for my bell lap, if you get injured and you rehab on an Alter G treadmill, you have to run much faster if you want to win your race. Thank you.